everybody. I'm in my car. They have a shocking, shocking video. By the way, you see that flat American flag right there? My house is on the other side of them trees, okay? That's where I live. And do you see what this is? This is a Home Depot, and sorry for all the beeping because I don't have my seatbelt on. But I was up here at this particular Home Depot right here. And yes, I'm driving and filming, and there's probably people saying, that's dangerous, okay? But this Home Depot is literally, literally, <sighs> I mean, it's like one minute away. I live across the street from a Home Depot. And do you know what I did? And I'm gonna show you what I did. And you're probably wondering, why are you doing another Home Depot video? I'm gonna tell you why. Um, but first, we're gonna go into this Home Depot and you're gonna see something absolutely shocking. And let me take these out of my ears because all I do all day long is talk on the phone because I'm coordinating getting our 300 houses open, Creepy World Darkness, and look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna make a video on how to make these into like the scariest actor scare thing. But do you see all this stuff? There, there is like $1,500 in extension cords in here, okay? And then you got these things here that you can put over extension cords for outside. But there is $1,500 in extension cords in there. And yes, I'm at Home Depot again, and there is a reason. And it's a shocking, shocking reason. I have been to four or five Home Depots because I've been trying to make a video about Home Depot and I've been trying to go to all the cool places to see the Halloween stuff that everybody has. And I was so disappointed in Home Depot because every Home Depot I had had two animations out. Very lazy, very lazy effort by Home Depot this year. When I say lazy, I'm talking about extremely lazy. Two animations, no care, no effort. But I've been to my Home Depot three or four times and they're even lazier because they didn't put anything out, okay? It was just all sitting around in boxes. But guess what happened today? You're not gonna believe it. My Home Depot. So I have to take back what I said about them being lazy. They put everything out. And in fact, <laughs> Out of all the Home Depots I've been to, which has literally been like, I don't even know, four or five trying to see the Halloween stuff. This is the biggest display I've ever seen from Home Depot and it's all laid out. And they have two sections and guess what? They have every single animation they sell on display. It's the only Home Depot out of five or six that I've been to that have had all of their props, all of their animations all of their inflatables set up so kudos to my home depot and we're going to check it out now you're probably going wait wait a minute we've seen this no no no. there's another section down there and look at that right there i've seen it in boxes but never set up i've seen this in boxes but never set up i've seen this in a box but never set up i've seen this out but not that this is the first time i've seen the witch set up first time i've seen the scarecrow set up that arch up there that skull arch which i'm gonna buy that for myself that's cool as shit um haven't seen it set up once not anywhere have i seen it set up whoops excuse me and let's wander over here they're still setting it up over here the home depot guys the chunky i have not seen it set up anywhere and there it is. I have not seen that set up, the Nosferatu set up, the tree set up, the clown. And we're talking about any and every Home Depot, this pumpkin archway, I have not seen it set up once anywhere. And it's all set up. So let's go and let's look at all these animations. And I'll tell you why they're setting it up today, okay? And they are going all out right now. And they're just unloading these boxes and they're setting up. So this is shocking that of all the Home Depots I visited, this is the only one that has every animation installed. Let's check them out. Let's check out everything they have because this Home Depot is going off. Now, you know what I'm going to tell you, which is really cool. When I went to the electrical section, 
and I was getting those clamps, you know, like to protect the extension cords. It had this artwork on it. So they were literally realizing these are for home haunts. These are like cloth bats. First Home Depot that I've been to that has everything out. Look at these people, they're really enjoying that witch right there. Now we've already featured this Frankenstein. It says servo motors for lifelike movement. $279. And it says it can be indoors or outdoors. And it says it works on a motion sensor. Look at that. They literally lay it all out for you. In fact, you know, when you look at this, I bet you a bunch of real haunted house like animation designers should make tags like this. That tells you everything about it with the price. Amazing. Now, what would have also been nice if you had a little barcode here and you could actually order it online or whatever. But let's check out this Frankenstein. I'm going to buy this. I'm just saying. This is probably the coolest animation that I've ever seen. It even has moving eyes. That's crazy right there. Absolutely crazy. I don't know of any haunted house animation in the whole industry that has anything with moving eyes. And these, by the way, are really cool. And you know what you can do with these? You could take these, you can take uh, Stunko, and you can haze that in concrete paint and it'll look like it weighs 500 pounds. Like, you know what I mean? And it'll look absolutely real. You could do the same thing to this. But here, let's see this guy. He's called the Animated LED Jack of Spades. Welcome to my game, Porto. I'm the dealer who always knows when to hold him and when to hold him. My bony fingers have dealt with the best and the worst. They have gotten really good at making these animations. Look at that, he's taking a drink. So you think and look at that, he's got back and form ice cubes in there. And a cigar is lit up. And let's see what you're made of. What is his hand? <laughs> He's got a pair of aces and a pair of eights. He's got two pairs. He doesn't have a flush though. Very cool. Very cool. Or tombstones. Now you have this grave digger. Have not seen this once. <laughs> you sure look fresh and clean. You never had to claw your way out of earth before, have you? Ever wonder what it's like to be buried alive? Well, maybe tonight will be your lucky night there. <laughs> and there you have it. There's the grave digger. Now, one of the things you'll notice, they put all these extension cords. I was looking for them. They got a lot of them over here. And so there's the grave digger. Animated LED haunted doll. The question is, do they have a Chucky? This is the Raven. Now look at that right there. You see that thing? That thing is so cool. If I had a home haunt, I would buy that in two seconds. It's $199. And you know what you could do with that? You could spray that in concrete, repaint it, and it would absolutely look like it was carved out of stone. That is worth buying for any haunted house owner in the world because you could actually make that look real with very little effort. Now, before we go to see all the other animations, you can see all the inflatables. And I have to tell you too, this spider right here, this wire form spider is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Now we have a Jack Lantern Festival at Creepy World. And um, although we have a lot of really cool stuff in there, a lot of this stuff would look really good in there because it's supposed to be, you know, fun. But we're not over relying on things from Home Depot, but I can tell you honestly, their stuff is getting better and better and better. And that spider wire form is cool. That bat wire form is cool. And you can put that pretty much in any Halloween display, I would imagine. Now they've got fog machines. They're loaded up with all these animations here. Color changing LED skelly lighting kits. And look at this. We only seen these at Menards. But you know, they do have one here. The Home Depot 2024. That's really cool. Uh, and then I guess these are animated. I don't know where to press. Oh, here we go. I press the button. Nothing's happening. Not. Look at the Raven. That's a cool prop. That's probably something you know you could make look real if you bought a bunch of feathers. You could glue them on. You could concrete the bottom of these uh, these and repaint them. 
You could even put some synergy on this and repaint it. It would make it look nice and grainy. I bet you that thing would like look really nice and cool. Now, you know, if we got into making videos of taking this stuff and redoing it, this one would be the perfect one to do right here. Because you could literally take the same fabric here, dip it in some really nasty latex, and start literally attaching it all over. And before you were done, this thing would look like, you know, a thousand dollar prop. All right, let's see what else. These are really cool too. I really like these. I don't like them black, but these are, these are prime candidates for making look realistic and then making it look like a gory demon or a dead vampire. You know, you put a stake in his heart right there and that would be Dracula in his casket. You know, he's been staked and killed. Now look at this one. He's got eyes. That is very cool. I don't think they're doing anything, but they're lit up. Now let's check out some of these other animations. The Soul Slasher. Hey, you. Come here. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> He's $99. This one is called Sitter of Souls. You can see she has some very basic motions, but she's saying really dark, sinister things. This one's called Marionette Witch. I think that one's kind of silly, to be honest with you. This one is has LEDs in his eyes, and that's all he does. He's a prop, and he has LEDs in his eyes. This is another prop that people should buy and then try to make look realistic. You absolutely could do it. You could literally do this with toilet paper and latex and some go go a gory paint. And you could make this look like a zombie dog in no time. Uh, okay, Levitating Reaper. And there he is. He's $299. He's actually pretty cool. And then you have this one called the Oozing Cauldron. And you see really all it does is it just lights up. But then right behind it has a spell casting witch. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Except for me. Oh look, it's got a little scare. The arm jumps out. And it's now got that you eyeball. Come over here. I'm sure you take much better when you're afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I have to say too, like when you look at this cheesy fabric on here, you can go to a fabric store. You can even go to a costume store and replace that costume, replace that goofy hat, and you could literally make this face look so much cooler. Uh, with a little bit of latex and repaint it. But even if you didn't do that, you just replace the costume. I mean, it, it really is pretty amazing. We've already seen Frankenstein. We've gone through this whole area here. Now, get this, this is what's shocking. There's a whole nother side. And they have all the animations set up. Pumpkin carving kits. Oh man. If you love Halloween, you're just like in heaven at this point. Some yard art tombstones. And then what do we have here? Some uh, gates. Some really funny. Uh... Look at that. That's so funny. Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. Everybody's crowding around. You got some Mickey, Daffy Duck, Halloween displays. You got some cobwebs. Now let's go see the rest of these animations. Are you kidding? We get the rest 
Lots of tombstones. Now, we never seen this one, the Plague Doctor. $199. Ooh, look at that. He's got a little scare. Nice. And then you got the Fear Valley Wolf. Look at his tail's wagging. His ears are moving and his jaw like comes up off the teeth. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. Right. And then we have Victorian Vampire. Your mortal existence is but a fleeting specter in the face of my immortality. As thou heard the whispers in the night, they speak to your impending doom. Now this one is Chucky Doll. As a doll! I'm infamous. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history. And I don't want to get that up. I am Chuck, the killer doll. And I'm sick of it. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're now, here's what's cool about it, okay? Go ahead and... He says something different every time you step on it. I always come back. So you step on it again? I have it. That's it. There is a limit to how much I can take. Now see, this is really cool, okay? And I've told a lot of animation companies in the haunted house industry, because it's moving, you don't need a piston to move this arm. If you put it on a swivel, as it moves, it actually gives the illusion that it has an extra motion when it doesn't. Because it just swivels around as the animation moves. Very clever on their part. I am shocked. Well, you can doll. see those servos in there. And then, of course, you have this really cool pumpkin stack. And then, we've already featured this in another Home Depot uh, video. This is Captain Cuts. And he's actually really cool. And this one is not working. His eyes aren't moving and his mouth isn't moving. That's a problem when you buy these animations. They're not really made to work a million times. Now look at that pumpkin arch. That is bad ass. And I would absolutely have that in my professional haunted house. I would repaint it. I would add some stuff to it but absolutely amazing. For $199, you could not get that at the Halloween Haunted House show, and it would probably be done in latex. It would probably be $2,500. That is a steal and a half. A steal and a half. I'm telling you right now. And then you got a dog, you got all these inflatables. Wow. And this one, he looks really cool too. And we're trying to get over here it says Trickster Trio Stack. Ah, it's the perfect night for the finish. <laughs> hey, Candy. Both of you quiet down. Don't make me watch you again. We need to find the trick or treaters and steal their delicious candy. <laughs> ah, yes. The sound of screaming children is like music to my ears. <laughs> I like the sound of the candy wrappers opening. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, all the faces are moving. I, I have to tell you, that animation is really cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's really cool. And this is really cool too. Look at this snake. Look at that. And it has all this articulation. That is really cool. Wow. Okay, so I do have to take back some of the comments I've made about Home Depot. Because at least this Home Depot is on full alert display. And let's let's just step back and take a look overall at this thing. 
We've got to see this. Look at the display. Every Home Depot I've been to has a section about that big. But this one, because they put everything on display, is double the size. Now, what am I gonna buy? Well, I have a Jack Lantern Festival. So what would I buy? First off, I really love the Frankenstein. But for me, these would all be throwaways because I wouldn't imagine they would work much past one season. This is really cute. I would consider buying that. I think you could buy these and these skeletons for your real haunted house. You would just have to make them look more realistic. Um, man, Home Depot has hit it out of the park. Um, I would love to have these right here. That looks so realistic. And you, you know what you would do with that? You see the base for that one? You would build like a two or three step base, cover it in concrete, put some trim on it, and that would be a headstone. 100%. Um, and that's one of the benefits of making stuff like, you know, in China, you can get all these kinds of things done if you make these in America, they would be much, much, much more expensive. And like, here's one of these pumpkin arches. I'm gonna buy the pumpkin arch, and I'm gonna buy the skull arch. And I'm also gonna be buying a lot of these pumpkins for my pumpkin patch. And I might get a couple more inflatables. We'll see, because I don't know how many of mine are, are, are or are not working. By the way, you notice how they have flashlights over here? Because assuming that you're putting this together at nighttime. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Home Depot. Finally, finally, we get to see everything. Finally. So we're going to take off now from Home Depot and go back out into the hot sun where it is hot as a mother outside. It's been hot all this week as we're trying to work on Creepy World and get it done. But I have to say, my ranking right now is Home Depot number one. Uh, then I'm gonna say uh, Lowe's is number two. And number three would be Spirit. Number four is Menard. If you're looking for things to make like a little Halloween city under a train or Something like that, Should they'd be number one with a bullet. But their animations are poor, their Halloween displays are poor. So the only place, we're gonna go to two more places in St. Louis. We're gonna go to this place called Johnny Brock's Dungeon, and we're also gonna go to Party City. And we're gonna see what they got going on. But Home Depot, in my view, you own Halloween Home Home. I mean, you own it, you dominated it, you knock it out of the park. You impressed somebody with a major haunted house, one of the best haunted houses in the entire world. And I think you could help anyone build an incredible home haunt. And don't forget, they also sell supplies, you know, like building supplies and stuff. Home Depot really is a one-stop shop, if you ask me, for Halloween 2024. I'm gonna get back in my car and we're gonna go visit Party City. Until then, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.